This week, the NCPA held a Capitol Hill briefing to discuss health policy challenges and the solutions provided by entrepreneurship and free market reforms. NCPA Legislative Director Brian Williams. The House passed legislation this week that would expedite natural gas exports. 41 House Democrats voted in favor of that bill. And over in the Senate, after an attempt to mount a filibuster earlier this week, the Senate finally passed the Keystone Pipeline Bill. Of course, the president has promised to veto it, but it gives Congress a chance to make their case for a robust all of the above energy policy. I compare that to the president's policy position. For example, the president wants to take credit for $2 a gallon gasoline, but he opposes Keystone. He wants to shut down Alaska oil fields, but he recently proposed opening up the Atlantic Ocean to drilling. We don't know whether to laugh or to cry, but we carry forward here in Washington. Uh, We just finished up a neat briefing on innovative health solutions. We had a panel of experts that talked about their businesses and how they are delivering health services and and using the power of free markets to deliver uh, health services to solve people's problems. Devin, why don't you tell us a little bit about that briefing? Well, we had a great panel. We had Ralph Weber of Medibid. He was explaining how he's using competitive bidding among physicians and working with patients to get the prices down. We had Larry Wittekind of IntegraNet explaining how he is helping save money for Medicare Advantage plans. And we had John Desser from eHealthInsurance.com, which is eHealth, talk about how they were doing what the health insurance exchanges should have been, should do, but could not do for the last 10 years. In the news, NCPA President and CEO Alan West talked with Fox News Channel hosts about the American sniper film controversy, the Iraq War, ISIS, and Al-Qaeda. What American Sniper does is it brings that 25-meter urban combat operation into the lives of the American people, and you get a chance to see it, but even more so, it humanizes the warriors that were there on the ground fighting. Possible presidential contender Mike Huckabee previewed his February 3rd event with the NCPA on the Mark Davis Show. It is Governor Mike Huckabee with us in Dallas. He will be at the NCPA luncheon on Wednesday. It's February 4th. NCPA.org for tickets. Last minute or two, let's wrap it up with uh, you know, the gift that keeps on giving. That's Obamacare. President Mike Huckabee sworn in January 20th, 2017. What do you do? Obamacare is beginning to unravel. Just today, we've learned that uh, the cost is going to be now right at $2 trillion in the next decade. Uh, That's simply unsustainable. And NCPA Distinguished Fellow Bob McTeer previewed a crucial Federal Reserve meeting on CNBC. With the Fed meeting this week, do you expect any changes due to the situation in Europe and Greece? Uh, Well, to begin with, they weren't going to contemplate changing policy until the middle of the year anyway, so they won't, it won't affect anything now. uh, If similar things are going on, though, in the middle of the year, I suspect it will delay the Fed's uh, beginning of normalization of interest rates. There is much more work to be done, and it's your continued support that makes our work possible. Thank you.